Hi guys, I'm back with another scrapbook process video. Uh, this one is titled Happy Birthday Dr. Seuss and it is uh, using these homemade page kits that I made back in March. Uh, this is page kit number five. I am using um, stuff like Heidi Swap, Dear Lizzie, uh, DCVW, uh, chipboard stickers, and also uh, metallic stickers and also some photo play circle elements. If you want to know all in detail what what kind of um, elements or products I use, I do uh, I do share a page kit share so that you know what I'm working with. Here I'm showing you that I did map the photo on a white piece of cardstock paper and then I did end up um, matting the corners with a tiny tiny polka dot a navy polka dot paper and here I'm just trying to finish off those corners with some uh, blue pattern paper that I had from Heidi Swap. I am using this uh, Dear Lizzie sticker that's tan and also that uh, Love You wood grain uh, piece of paper that uh, I made into a like a ticket. I do use these circles that are on the ends of the photos and those are by photo play. They came from a, a piece of pattern paper. And um, let's see here. I'm also using this uh, Lucky Charm uh, sticker and that's next to the wood grain paper. And I'm just kind of laying everything out. I, I tend to go into these uh, page kits or usually when I scrapbook, I kind of lay everything out and then I glue it as I go. Or more or less if I have a cemented idea, once I get started shuffling papers around, then I just go ahead and start gluing. I know that I am going to use this little caption here and glue that on top of the sticker so that I don't have to worry about it shifting. And everything else, like all the elements that I'm kind of... Um, embellishing around the photo I end up gluing to the photo and that photo mat because I know that that's the kind of look that I want um, and usually embellishing is the part that um, is the most time consuming for me so I think getting this out of the way <laughs> straight away uh, made it seem a lot go to go a lot faster for me I do end up layering another Dear Lizzie sticker and that was that yellow and white striped one and I'm using this Martha Stewart glue that I got at Tuesday morning. I wish I would have gotten more of this. It was only a dollar. And there's a lot in there. And it seems to work pretty well. Nothing else has uh, fallen off or anything. It's wet glue. So usually wet glue for me works a lot better. So here I am trying to use some washi. I did buy this uh, pack. It was like a multi-pack of Little B washi. Uh, and it came in like a uh, set of six, seven uh, rolls in a in one package and they're from little B. They're not the stickiest and so here you see me kind of uh, reinforcing them down with um, paper tape. The double-sided adhesive that you can tear. Um, and I am layering it with this blue washi and here they look like two different blues but when I see it in person it's not matching matching but it's kind of in the general vicinity and there's all kinds of blues my son is wearing a blue shirt and the little thing one or thing two I don't know which one he has he has blue hair but it's a different shade and there's stuff around the classroom in his daycare that um, have like primary colors which is basically why I gravitated to the blue the yellow and the red in this layout uh, I do reinforce the ends so that they don't come off later uh, even into folding it over on the back end as you can see here and uh, I'm using this um, silhouette uh, scraper so that you can pick up pieces but I use it to kind of uh, not leave like wet glue in puddles and it kind of spreads it out and evenly here I'm using these Mambi stickers and I really like that blue foil and so I decided to put three also in the clusters my happy birthday Dr. Seuss came out a bit crooked. I didn't notice until um, I was looking at the close-up photos <laughs> that I did, but it didn't bother me. I think that um, I take so long in making a photo or a layout that I just want to go ahead and 
make it good, but not, it doesn't have to be perfect all the time. And sometimes it happens like a happy accident that things come together and you're very happy with your end result. And this was one of those where it wasn't the best, but I wasn't disappointed in the end result either. It was a happy layout. And so it gave me a happy feeling and I was all right with that. So that um, was really fun. I did use some scratch piece of paper that I put this blue washi on top of. And then I used a that punch outs by American Crafts to make the edge. It's a scallop with stars inside. And that's for a uh, Christmas. It's like a Christmas theme set of punches. And so I ended up using it here because it doesn't scream um, Christmas. It's just emphasizing the stars that are all around the layout and on the washi tape itself. I did use my uh, We Are Memory Keepers typewriter to do the uh, journaling. And here I'm using this quilling glue bottle that I put uh, that scotch tacky glue inside of. And it's been working for me fine. Uh, for those that are looking for an alternative to that fine liner bottle, this is a good alternative and it is a bit cheaper. So um, that's pretty much it. Here are some close-ups of all the details in the layout. I hope you enjoyed the process. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns, leave them down below. If you have any comments, I always like hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video and we'll see you in the next uh, process video. Have a great one. Bye.